We started out doing parody StarCraft music videos. That's how our YouTube channel began. They started out kind of funny and stuff, and then there was a little period there where you kind of go, oh, some of those are a bit cringy. Yeah. Oh, we should oh. leave them off the yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we haven't. We've gone, we'll leave them there. That's our past. So the music videos started to slow down, and you guys decided you wanted to do something else. So it was just me and Alan, and Alan got the idea to start making this board series. First episode was fine. You can't just keep running off! You're the manager! And then the second episode went Gangbusters. It was our first real taste of virality. We were like, oh my god, like this video went viral on Reddit. This is the one way to make videos and have things seen. Because the video got like half a million views. Right? Yeah, just... which especially back then was just like, Ugh! Every video we released up for back in the day, we'd lose a few subscribers. Like, no. <laughs> we did. Because people would subscribe for the Sound of Music videos and they're like, oh, bored. Yeah, bored. Oh, that's not what I subscribed for. Nobody plays games on Apple. So Adam joining was the beginning of success, essentially. Yeah. Ron and I were always talking like, what we need is someone else to bounce off and to mm. yeah. stay motivated. And three's just a magic number. When I came in, I was a StarCraft player as well, and I liked the music videos, but primarily bored, I could see potential there. And we had a little group document which we'd put ideas into, and one day I was looking through it, and Alan had written like one or two sentences, an NPC in a video game who knows he's in a video game. And I just read that sentence and went, <laughs> like, <laughs> lo rocketed into space. I was like, how has this not been done before? It was probably this genius. Like, this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> And I wrote out like 10 episodes in yeah. the space of about 30 minutes. That was the birth of Epic Every Semen. Morning! Nice day for fishing, ain't it? And then on the 2nd of September 2016, that happened. Yeah. So Girl, Girl Game is the one with Ellie. It didn't do that well on YouTube, but Alan memed this one up. And it went gangbusters on well, Facebook. This is the first thing to be able to do like history that got millions and we were like... What? People came for Girl Gamer, checked out our Facebook page, and then consequently checked out YouTube and found NPC Man. And yeah. that was the thing that started that skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah. And this marks the beginning of actually having an income that we could consider going full time on. Yeah. yeah. And I remember at the time thinking, like, imagine one day in like 10 years if we could get to like a million yeah. subscribers. Yeah, totally. Like, it felt like a, a million years away. Yep. Now enters the next phase. Mm -hmm. It was timed perfectly with the growth of PUBG and so the channel was oh, People yeah. were just searching PUBG fiercely. And so at this point now, enough. PUBG was the way to bring in new fans yeah. and NPC Man was the way to keep the fans. Yeah. Wasn't it? And then Bored was, was the, the way, way to make them super fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Except you're a hardcore fan if you like Bored. Sit! 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 Hold up! Epic NBC Man has, has been only got stronger. Only gotten stronger. As much as PUBG has defined us recently and Board has defined us for a longer period of time. It's like the first IP that's truly ours. Yeah. It was a thought of like, we just gotta keep doing what we're doing and hope that one of them clicks the right way and releases the floodgates of, you know, yeah. eyes. Ah! What's up, assholes? Red Dead, it's our most well-performing series in terms of view per video. Quick drop! Oh, I'm gonna tell the sheriff, I'm gonna tell everybody! And Apex not so much. Apex didn't do as much. <laughs> but but that, that's a classic example of, I think one of our strengths is, we try something, if it doesn't work, move on. Yeah. yeah. Then, this is the biggest milestone. Getting to 1 million subscribers on yeah. YouTube. We might get to 10 million, but it will but never feel as special millions. as yeah, it would never feel as special as getting a second comma. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's definitely yeah. the biggest milestone. It was like quite an emotional day. 2020 was a massive year. APS Logic came out, which we just loved making. We gave Ben his own show with Souls Logic. We really expanded Viva's cast and crew. It was a massive year of trying new things and just seeing what worked. With my computer! 2021 Balin's Route finally came out. It was our first real test at making longer form content and something we wanted to do a whole lot more of. Beaver's future looks really, really bright. We have so many new shows in the pipeline. We want to make longer form content. And while we've accomplished quite a lot, we genuinely think this is just the beginning. And we cannot wait to take you guys along for the ride.